valid publication and rejection of names a new name of a taxon is valid or effective for publication only when it is distributed in a printed or electronic form to the general public or at least 10 botanical institutions with libraries accessible to botanists if published on or after 111935 latin description by a reference to previously and effectively published latin description or diagnosis of the taxon has to be made the name of new taxon of the rank of family or below published on or after 111958 is valid only when its nomenclatural type is mentioned along with the name of the place where the type specimen is permanently conserved if it is published on or after 111953 it is valid only if clear indication of rank of the taxon and whether it is a new genus new species or a new combination etc so the name of a taxon should fulfill certain requirements before its effective publication so they are first one formulation it should indicate species nova for a new species combination nova for a new for change in the epithet of basionym the name of the original author should be kept in parenthesis nom no nomen novum when the original name is completely replaced second criteria is latin diagnosis name of the new taxa should have a latin diagnosis that is translation of all features in latin language typification or holotype or nomenclatural type holotype should be designated the name of new taxon is valid only when the type of the name is mentioned after 1 1990 the name of the taxon whose type is a specimen or unpublished illustration the herbarium or institution in which the type is conserved must be specified fourth one is effective publication after january 1 1996 the name of new taxon of fossil should be accompanied by a latin or english description of character article 32 1 to 2 or tokyo code icbn is amended as new names of plants and fungi will have to be registered in order to be validly published after january 1 2000 now coming to the rejection of names the rules for rejection of names are nomen nudum name without description without typification and latin diagnosis etc is rejected tautonym botanical nomenclature does not allow tautonym repetition of generic name example malus malus repetition of specific epithet in infra intra specific epithet does not constitute tautonym later homonym if a name which is already existing is given to another taxa once again then the later homonym is rejected nomen ambiguum the name is rejected if it is used in different sense by different authors nomen confusum 
the name should not be confusing nomen dubium dubious name with uncertain applications is also rejected <laughs> types of taxon names of different taxonomic groups are based on type method the principles and articles of the icbn provide that all taxonomic groups will be based on nomenclatural types meaning thereby that all names are permanently attached with some taxon or specimen designated as type for species and intra specific taxa the type is a specimen or in some circumstances only an illustration the name of the first author should be attached name of the taxa above the level of species that is section subgenus genus tribe and family etc are based on the name of immediately next lower taxon on which the group was originally based example lamiaceae was based on genus lamium orchidaceae was based on genus orchis etc when a new species is described the author of new species has one or more specimen having characters as dis distinctive enough to be segregated into new species different kinds of types holotype isotype paratype syntype lectotype neotype topotype and epitype now these are the different kinds of types holotype single specimen may be whole plant or part of which part of it with which the name of taxon is permanently attached is known as holotype single specimen may be whole plant or part of it with which the name of taxon is permanently attached is known as holotype isotype or cotype isotype or cotype fragments from the same plant from which the holotype is made or plants with same field number are isotypes isotype or cotype means fragments from the same plant from which the holotype is made or the plants with the same field number are called isotypes paratype specimen other than holotype and isotype is called paratype other than holotype and isotype is called paratype the specimen may bear a different field number as it is collected from different localities by different collectors syntype s y n t y p e syntype the specimen which is the basis of new taxon the basis of new taxon when no holotype is designated by author is known as syntype if author studies collection from different localities and by different collectors and decides to establish a new species labels all of them as types all these specimens become syntype lectotype if type chosen to serve as holotype when either an earlier designated holotype was lost or destroyed or holotype was never designated and from the isotype paratype or syntype a specimen is chosen by a specialist to serve as the type such ones are called as lectotypes neotypes if holotype isotype paratype or syntype are lost or not available a neotype is selected from other specimens to serve as type some taxonomists call call it standard specimen so the neotype if holotype isotype paratype syntype are lost or unavailable neotype is selected from other specimens to serve as type and it is also called as standard specimen now coming to topotype when no original type material is available and a specimen is collected from type locality is chosen to serve as type is called as topotype when no original type material is available and a specimen is collected from type locality 
is chosen to serve as type it is called as topotype epitype specimen is selected to serve as an interpretive type when the holotype lectotype neotype etc could not effectively be identified to name the taxon it is called as epitype specimen is selected to serve as an interpretive type when the holotype lectotype neotype could not be effectively identified to name the taxon it is called as epitype